Cheers. Daryl, many congratulations. A comprehensive victory up there on the stage. Must be over the moon with the performance. No, honestly, I've been, I've been the last year and a half, I've been practicing the best I've ever practiced. And I just haven't took it to the stage. Uh, and what I've been doing probably in the last uh, last few weeks in the Premier League, even in the Premier League, was I was cutting down your practice time, so I wasn't uh, I wasn't leaving my best game on the practice board. So um, tonight, I, I think I turned off maybe two hours and forty minutes or something before my game. I felt a lot fresher, um, felt under pressure because I thought like, oh no, this is the first time I've done this with a crowd. Um, but uh, no, I play I play well tonight. Obviously, the second leg annoyed me whenever I was sitting on 81 after uh, nine and then couldn't finish it in nine, 12 darts. Uh, but I still ended up with 101 average, so I'm told by Graham. Um, but no, listen, any win doesn't matter if it's 6 0, 6 1, 6 5. As long as you're winning, that's all that matters. What was it like playing in front of a crowd again as well? Because it's been a while. Did you enjoy it? I, I really did enjoy it, but obviously, my head here was sweating, didn't it? <laughs> But um, no, no, no. It's it's just something to get used to again. Uh, I mean, for me, darts isn't darts without a crowd. Uh, we we did so well uh, with the Premier League and match play whenever there was no crowd there. But tonight, you felt like you, you've got an extra incentive because there's a crowd there. They they paid their money, their entry fee, everything else, and you want to go out there and put on the performance. Did it feel nice to return to knockout darts as well? That there was something on it because. Your last few games in the Premier League obviously meant nothing to you because you couldn't get in that top four. Where tonight, the pressure, if you lost, you were going home. Did you enjoy that and was that better for you? Um, no, not really, because uh, coming down the last few games, if I had won them, I could have went above uh, Michael Smith. Now, don't get me wrong, I have no idea what the money situation was, but um, if, I, if I had won the last two games, I went above him on leg difference, so I could have still finished sixth. So for me, there was still something to play for, but um, no, I mean, I'll say it's, a, it's another change for us. We're playing back again in front of the crowds, in front of uh, in a knockout tournament, where we're all used to it. So uh, I welcome the challenge again. Is that something that's important to you, bragging rights in the practice room beforehand? Who finishes above who still? Well, um, as soon as I came off the board, me and Ashman, we've been practicing a lot, and I said, "What was your average?" and uh, Supposedly, his is 101, and so was I. So whoever's got the lowest now has got it by uh, by the Chinese, and I have no idea who's won. But I know both of us is supposedly 101, and hopefully, uh, hopefully. Uh, Daryl, what's been done after since the Premier League and, and sort of heading into the autumn series? Did you get much time on the board, or was it about kicking back and having a bit of time to relax? Um, oh, honestly, I, I've just been uh, trying to be positive in my head. Um, I played, I played okay in the, in the autumn series. I knew I could have played a lot better, but I, there were so many games that I was playing the player, not playing the board. So I was like just doing enough to win. And even though I was winning maybe sometimes with an 88 or a 90 average, um, I was just getting over the finish line. And whereas tonight, um, I was just playing the board. And doesn't matter if he had 110 average, I felt like I, I could beat him. Um, but no, I, I've just been trying to be more positive in myself. I've always been uh, one of these players that's um, been negative and always nervous. And I've tried to just been look on the, the side of positivity and uh, give myself the, power, the proper proper darts. Whereas I showed that in some stages in the Premier League and in other stages I didn't. So uh, I'm still learning. I know I've been around for a couple of years now, but um, the, the best is still to come. And um, I really honestly do believe that. And uh, hopefully I'll start putting in more, uh, more Tom Plus finish and more Tom Plus for averages. Do you think the Autumn Series and, and this tournament as well is about getting a, a winning mentality back and, and especially obviously with the, the big majors coming up later in the year? Yeah, no, 100%. I mean, before the Premier League started, I, I, I only, ex uh, only expected to, to be there four or five days and then obviously... Because I was three points behind Rob, I thought Rob would have won two games at least. And it didn't matter what I did, I was going home anyway, so I, I packed for four days. Um, and then I ended up turning, I was there for two, uh, two weeks. Uh, and then I thought to myself then that I, I didn't practice more or less for it. It's my own fault, I only practiced five days for it. Because I thought that all these Europeans and 
in this competition, the, the World Series, I thought that would have been all cancelled. And I thought to myself, I'm not, I'm not going to go to practice for the Premier League. Um, so, um, and, then, and then everything else kind of went ahead. So I thought to myself, well, I have to do the Autumn, autumn Series, get to go practice in and uh, try and get myself up and going for these TV tournaments coming up now, the, the Europeans, this World Series. And um, I feel, I'm feeling good, feeling great. And I feel like uh, I'm the only person can beat myself at the moment is myself. Um, as I say, in that uh, second leg, in that game there, um, that's where World Championships is won and lost. And um, if I was a Peter Wright, a Michael Van Gerwen, a Gary Anderson, a Gerwen Price, I don't feel like he would have missed them opportunities and they probably would have won that game 6 0, uh, whereas I won it 6 2, 6 3. And whenever you're always in the game, you can always give yourself, give your, your opponent the, the opportunity. All right, brilliant. Thank you very much, Darwin, and enjoy the Chinese. Thank you.